and two all at once. You're going, and I'll do it too. You are going to take your cracker, and this is going to kind of demonstrate what happens in your mouth. Crackers are considered carbohydrates, okay? And they, in the presence of your saliva, make a little change. Usually when you think of a saltine, what do you think it tastes like? Salty. Salty, okay? So we're all going to put this in our mouth. You're going to chew it up a little bit, and then you're going to hold it in your mouth for as long as you can. If you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to choke, this isn't going well, just swallow it, don't worry about it. Everyone else will be able to help us figure out what's going to happen. So put it in, chew it up a little bit, and then just leave it there. Don't swallow. And it's just really dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garrett, well, that is not appropriate. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and swallow. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I was seeing some faces like, oh, this is not good. Did anyone notice a change in the taste of your saltine? It got kind of bitter. It got bitter, okay. Anybody else? My mouth got dry. Yes, your mouth did get very dry, absolutely. Did anybody taste it get sweet? A little bit? Okay. That is because, you know, this saltine is salty. The reason it gets sweet is because those chemicals in your saliva are breaking down those carbohydrates into sugars, and that's why you get the sweetness. Okay? So that's what's happening in your mouth. Let's jump back down. We chew it in our mouth, add saliva. Does anyone know what this tube is called? Your esophagus. Very good. Travels down your esophagus. Using, does anyone know what that motion is? The kind of squeezing down your esophagus? Swallowing. Swallowing. There's a big technical term for it. Peristalsis. That's a big word. That's taking the food. The food doesn't just fall boop, from your mouth to your stomach, right? Because you can eat when you're laying down, right? But there are little tiny muscle movements called peristalsis, okay? Now we're back in our stomach. Can I get a volunteer? <laughs> Bobby. Oh. All right. You are going to be the stomach muscles. Yes. So I want you to come back around me. And you are going to squeeze this up. No, you're just, it's shut. But you're going to shake it up, squeeze it up, and mush it up. Because when the food is in your stomach, you have muscles that are kind of working on it. What kind of muscles do we have in our stomach? Smooth, smooth muscles. Very good. <laughs> and those smooth muscles are going to crunch up this food. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all broken up. <coughs> For a minute, I was thinking, why is it so pink? Because last time it didn't get pink, but. Then you realize it's jelly. I thought about getting strawberry you. milk, but I thought that might. As soon as we take it out of the bag, it's not going to smell very good, people. It, it's because Bobby's working on it. Oh. Make it look like oh, Bobby. Wow, let's go. Yep. Uh, I wouldn't eat that. Right, what are you doing? Are you getting all the big chunks out? I think so. Okay. All right. I don't know. Thank you very much, Aww. Bobby. Let's oh, give our wonderful helper a round of applause. All right. In the stomach. Some nutrients come out of the stomach and go off to our body. But the next place that the food travels to is where most of the nutrients come out into the bloodstream. Does anybody know what that might be? Where is the food going after the stomach? Jared? Intestines. Into your intestines. You have two of them. Does anyone know which one it goes to first? Oh, yeah. 
large? Nope, not the large. The small. The small intestine, it will go to the small intestine first. So, from here, in our stomach, the food needs to go to the small intestine. And our small intestine is this nylon, okay? This nylon, even when I stretch it, is only about as long as my arms. But our small intestine is how long? Do you know? I think I do. Okay. Isn't it six foot or something? Okay. No. Yeah, like 27 feet or something. You unravel the entire thing. John? Isn't it like, I don't know, like 12 inches or something? 22 feet long. Oh, hey, that's my first guess. I guess 27. That is very long. Let's look at <laughs> our yardstick. How long is this? Three feet. Three feet. Three feet. Holy so if wow. this is three, imagine 22. Okay? So it's very long. But... Very good. <coughs> we are going to take our small intestine. We are going to empty the contents of our stomach into our small intestine. Can I get a volunteer? Can I do that? Lana, I think you're first. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Oh, you're wrong. Don't volunteer for something until you know what it was. What if I was asking for a volunteer to eat it? Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold this. I want you to take this and just, it's okay if you miss a little bit. Try and get most of it to go into our small. <laughs> That's very gross to think about, Joey. However, it's true. It's true. Because if you have an upset stomach, you eat something that isn't settling right, and you throw up. That throw up is what used to be in the stomach. So you're going to have that plus some stomach acid. Okay? So while it's gross to think about, that's exactly what it is. Okay? All right. So I'll hold this. If you can just dump. <laughs> dump that in there. Do the best you can. Lumpy, dumpy, lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. <laughs> All right. It looks fun. That does. <laughs> All right. You can set that down. Another round of applause. applause. All right. Now that kind of plopped because our Ooh. nylon is okay. It's like a snake eating a moth. <laughs> a little bit. You. Oh, that is oh, good. Do like, you does just... look like a mouse in a snake? Okay. So... I want you to all look at this. What's happening? It's, it's dripping. dripping. It's dripping out. Your small intestine, well, stuff doesn't just like drip out all over the place. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> the nutrients from the food are exiting through the balls of the small intestine and they are going into your bloodstream. Okay? Most of the nutri nutrition that we get is coming out in the small intestine. Now, our small intestine is made up of what kind of muscle, do you think? Smooth. Smooth muscle, very good. And so, again, just like the food didn't just fall down our esophagus, it doesn't just kind of fall in our small intestine, because our small intestine is all coiled up, okay? So there are going to be some contractions of muscles that are going to squeeze the food through the small intestine. So I'm going to squeeze this. There's going to be That's nice. more nutrients are leaving. Okay? It's very gross. If you're in the front row, maybe you can smell it. It does not smell very good. Yeah, though. I can't smell anything. So you're probably a good thing. It doesn't look very nice either. No, it doesn't. It looks like a water balloon. It almost does. Like Does anybody know how long it takes? Four. Twenty-four hours. I didn't even ask the question yet. <laughs> Four hours. No, how long it takes. To <laughs> how long digest. does it take to digest? If, if I were to eat this peanut, can I finish my question, please? Four. Raise your hand. How long does it take for this peanut butter and jelly sandwich to be completely digested? 24. Joey. Twenty-four. It's twenty-four hours. So if you ate this right now today. Tomorrow in class, it would be completely digested. Okay, so I'm still squeezing. But look at this lump compared to the lump we started with. What do you notice about it? It's smaller. It's smaller. Where's the other stuff going? Into your bloodstream. Into your bloodstream. Very good. Just squeeze it. Okay. 
From the small intestine, where does it go? The large intestine. The large intestine. Now, once we get, and it's out. All right. Once we get to the large intestine, all the nutrients that we are going to get from the food have already gone into our bloodstream. Our body is already using them. Okay? So once it gets to the large intestine, it is pretty much waste. Okay? And we all know what that means, right? Yeah. Okay. So from the large intestine, it's then going to go to the colon, and then the rectum, and then out the anus. You're going to use the bathroom. Okay? Um, if you want, you can come take a look at what we've ended up with. The liquid again, those are the things. No. Once you've taken a look, go ahead and have a seat. That's disgusting. great. All right. I want you to remember that that liquid stuff is what came out, and some of some of the chunks are what came out during the squeezing through the small intestine. So that was in the small intestine, and that big lump that is what is coming out as waste. Okay, your body has said, hey, I can't use that. I can't turn that into energy. And so your body will just get rid of it. Okay? Any questions about the way that works in the digestive system? All right. I don't know about you, but I probably won't eat a piece.